The Dark Knight Begins Rising Part 1. Get a load of this fucking... <laughs> the video doesn't even have over 100,000 views in six years. It's... <laughs> Oh boy, that's not good. All right, well. Hey guys, Doug Walker here. Welcome to the premiere of Hello. Demo Reel. Uh, just wanted to give you a little information about the show and how it's going to work. Uh, unlike Nostalgia Craig, that was every one week. This is going to be every two weeks because it takes a little bit more time because it's more than just a guy in front of a white wall. Uh, so it is going to be every two weeks. However, every other week, there's always going to be something Demo Reel related, whether it be a short or a trailer oh, for the good. next one. There's always going to be something. So I'm glad we'll never run out of content content for demo reel and that it's going to be a long lasting series that sticks with the uh, the, the channel for a long time. Let's Every continue. time you show up on Tuesday on thatguyoftheglasses.com you're always going to see something related to demo reel. On top of that, like I said before, we have a uh, talk show that's going to be coming out with me. We got uh, game shows. We have all sorts of things coming up for you guys that we're in the process of getting out to you. So stay tuned. A lot more is coming. I hope you enjoy what we got. So cool. It's been a rough day. Bear says, why am I doing this? Eh. Seemed like a good idea at the time. What 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 could possibly go wrong? That's fine. Hey, hasn't it? Yes, Dr. Bruce Willis. And now you're gonna tell me your dirty Is little secret, Bruce aren't Willis? you? Yes. And what is your dirty little secret? I see dead people walking around like regular people. They don't know they're dead. Oh, that's okay. That's just a 700 club. No, I mean, I see ghosts. Really? How often? All the time. They're everywhere. Why are they doing a parody of The Sixth Sense 14 years later? Like, you know, I, I never really thought about it before today, honestly, but when I was watching Ralph talk about the fucking To Boldly Flee, in his, uh, uh, again, if you're just joining us, I've been re-watching, like, I Hate Everything and Ralph the Movie Maker videos and stuff, and he did a video a little while ago about, uh, To Boldly Flee and the pop quiz show that we'll be watching in a little bit, and I never thought about it before today, watching him ta go through the plot, plot of, uh, fucking, what is it called? To Boldly Flee. I literally just said the name. It's fine. Um... The movies are so incredibly past their time, like, every fucking reference, I guess I never even thought about it as a kid when I was watching it the first time or whatever, but, like, every reference is to, like, Star Trek movies from the 80s. Like, who the fuck cares anymore? You got Doug Walker, the ultimate fucking boomer over here, he's doing fucking references to the sixth sense. Amazing. What, do you got a fucking reference to Tombstone next? You get, gonna give us a, a hot Who Framed Roger Rabbit parody? Well, I guess that movie's always timeless, but still. There's even still. one behind you! Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Jesus, it's Beetlejuice. I'm the ghost with the most, baby. Hey, Casper! Ooh. Cool fucking video, Hong Kong. Eat your soul. Ah, for damn you, I'm not talking to you. Oh my god, Ghost Dad. That's right. Now I will buy a jello pudding pop from the fiery depths of hell. Is that before Bill Cosby was... This was 2014. Didn't all that stuff start in like 2015? I don't really remember. I think that was before. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so this whole intro so far just seems to be a bunch of shit. I know the Casper the Ghost thing was a meme from the Nostalgia Critic, so I don't really know why it's here in this video that's not the Nostalgia Critic. He wanted to create such a distinction between his series or whatever, and and yet he still uses the same memes. And here's just random, like, Bill Cosby, I guess. Okay. He's terrifying! What are we gonna do? The only thing we can do. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Wow, that's a movie from 1984, Doug. That's cool. I'm I'm sure your fetus audience will really appreciate that reference. Sure, Ghostbusters, classic film. I like Ghostbusters. I'm sure you like Ghostbusters as well. But the people that you're making your videos for are probably more into like 
fucking Sonic X on Fox Kids or whatever the fuck was airing when this video came out. This was 2014. It wasn't Sonic X. Uh, but but whatever it was, they probably aren't really going to get a Ghostbusters reference outside of knowing that that's a thing that other people know, I guess. It's one thing to have your entire fucking thing just be nothing but references, but like, at least make them topical references. This fucking video is called The Dark Knight Begins Rising. Why does it not have anything to do with The Dark Knight so far? Why are we talking about Ghostbusters and Ghost Dad? What is happening? Who are you? Ghostbusters! Chicago Division. But we're in Philadelphia. We're branching out. All right, Ghost, prepare to die again. You can't do this to me. I gave you Malcolm Jamal Ward. Fire! <laughs> Hey, can I try? <laughs> oh, get him too. He's a ghost. What? Boise ghost is the most of it, and they're scary too. This is your good old friend Randy saying too. Did he really think this was gonna be the the next big thing? Why would you ever think that? Oh, hello. I'm Donnie Dupre. And wait. Cool fedora, bro. <laughs> this was, uh. Th this was 2014. This was roughly at the height of the fedora meme. So, uh, maybe that was part of the joke. I don't know. But he kind of looks halfway between an r slash atheism guy and a Hasidic Jew. So, I mean. You just saw, believe it or not was not the sixth sense. I know it felt like the movie, looked like the movie. Uh, don't be the fucking gut. You know, can we just make a blanket statement that the guy who says, but it's a trilby is worse than the guy who's wearing the fedora every time. That guy is always worse. Don't be that guy. Maybe even a little better than you remember him. But in fact, this was a film brought to you by our online production team, Demo Reel. What is Demo Reel? Well, how do I put it? You got movies, old and new, low budget and big budget, appealing to all sorts of different audiences. And as great as all these movies are, in all humbleness, we can do it better. And I Why is he Amish? I just realized he's supposed to be Amish. Why is he Amish? What's the point? In all humbleness? is that That's the Amish thing, right? He's trying to be Amish. Or like something like that, or Mennonite or something. What the fuck does that add to that? Is this what? Where's what? <laughs> oh god! This is the first video. <laughs> Good god! I don't think I'm being too selfish when I say that. We have perfected what many consider to already be perfect, and made it even more perfect. Be her yes. We vow to show what our cinematic skills are capable of, and there is no doubt that we have quite a wide range of talent, including directors, actresses, directors, writers, directors, cinematographers, directors, caterers, and writers and- You see, the joke is, is that he is a huge self-centered, uh, bitch who, uh, values himself uh, himself and his contributions vastly above those of uh, the rest of the people on his crew. That's what the joke is. Laugh. Photographer, Laugh. director, actress, caterers. It's a joke. Is the is the reason? It's that's it's funny because it's a joke. Uh, it's a joke. Remember that it's just a joke. Our goal to reach an audience so large that Hollywood would have no choice but to offer us a chance to make our very own motion picture. We even send our motion pictures to the original filmmakers themselves. <laughs> In fact, famed director M. Night Shyamalan once said of our work, I thought my twists were bad. You see, even he had to acknowledge that our work was so good that he- Like, what is the point of this, is the thing. I mean, was this still at the point when he wasn't on- Well, I guess they uploaded this on YouTube, so it has to have been on YouTube, but like- I just don't understand what the point is. Like, people watched his other videos because they were reviews, because people like reviews of stupid shit, but, like, I guess he's... I guess he was trying to go for more of, like, the how it should have ended, or, like, one of those kinds of channels where they do skits. 
but all, those are also not funny. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe he did a great job. I I can't. This wasn't by comparison. comparison. With Rebecca Stone, Tacoma Narrows, Carl Copenhagen, and the rest, we want to make our incredibly humble goal of fame, fortune, and riches you know, beyond our wildest dreams. I've said this before in watching his stuff post, uh, like, To Boldly Flee. <laughs> it's just so interesting to watch him now, like, after a point where basically every one of his people that a anybody actually liked watching stopped wanting to be around him. You know, like, Spoonie isn't here, Linkara's not here, none of those people are here, but instead you just have... Fe token female and token black guy. And by the way, if you've never seen any of Doug Walker's stuff before, I absolutely fucking assure you this man is token black guy. I'm not just saying that for a joke. He is literally just there to be whatever black guy they need him to be at the time of the scene. It's kind of embarrassing. Let's Come continue. True. For you. Also, he's a furry. Nobody will ever shut up about the fact that Malcolm is a furry. He, apparently, he's a furry, so there's that as well, I guess. Demo reel. We don't make films, we remake them. Got. Alright, now Sixth Sense seemed to go over really well online. In fact, a lot of people say it was our best work to date. I know. Did you see that one comment? What the hell did I just watch? People are speechless. We're leaving them asking questions. Important questions, like, what the hell did I just watch? Exactly. So I feel for the next one we should do something supernatural. Uh, Tagoma, what do you got? W well, I was thinking, Wuthering Heights. There's a lot of atmosphere as well as ghosts in the movie, and it'll give us a chance to really- I like how no matter what I do with these cameras, I somehow wind up turning into a fucking blue-white ghost. This is great. Give me green. No, give me red. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, fucking red boy. That's good. Hang on. That's not even the right remote right there. That is. Well, now my remote's just not working. How about that? That's some that's some that's some donkey dicks right there. Well, there's another light. That's not going on. Uh, not for now at least. Dive into the psychological. Do I still hey, look hey, like a or Batman? Oh, Batman would be awesome! Yeah, let, let, oh, let's no, do that. Oh no, yeah, I'm still blue and white. That's great, okay. Uh, I don't think Batman is really supernatural. Sure he is. Always flying around, sucking people's blood. Th that's Dracula. No. No, no, it, it was definitely Batman. Yeah, I remember Francis Ford Coppola talked about it on his commentary. That was also Dracula. It, what is your obsession with Dracula? I don't have an obs- Look, Batman's not a vampire. Are you saying that George Clooney is not a blood-sucking Nosferatu who feeds on the young to keep himself immortal? That's not funny. My little brother died that way. I cannot argue with that. There you go! In, in light of QAnon and Pizzagate and recent things, this joke has become incredibly offensive and you should, uh, you should check your privilege, Doug. Thank you. Batman. 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 I'll have you know George Clooney sold my little brother on Wayfair. They had just what he needs. My name is Tacoma Narrows. I am the writer for Demoreal. I came across Donnie and I thought, what better way to break into the industry? True, a lot of times uh, he doesn't go with my ideas. In fact, what I originally put down has almost nothing to do with the final product. But that's Donnie's direction. You and know, I wonder if like, because every time I've talked about Doug Walker in the past, there's always... It's always been his, well, no, I've watched his fucking regular Nostalgia Critic videos, too. But when I've watched his, like, crossover movies, there's always this strong sense of ego and, like, there was a, there was a big thing that was reported in the, uh, the sort of cancellation document thing that happened a few years ago. There was a big thing they reported about how during the, the production of the movies, they would often, like... They would often, like, uh, the, the actors would, actors, the other people in the movie would suggest things, and they would come up with ideas, and Doug would be like, oh, that's great, yeah, why don't we do it both ways, we'll do it my way, and then we'll try your way, and then he just always used, like, his footage. 
I, I wonder if he thinks that, like, that's a joke or funny or something, because that seems to be the joke of this video. If we, like, rewind a little bit, it seems like the, the joke of this skit right now is... A lot of times, uh, he doesn't go with my ideas. In fact, what I originally put down has almost nothing to do with the final product. It's like, haha, I'm such an asshole director that's hard to work with. Haha. Ha. It's a joke. It's... I wonder if he knows that... It's fine. No, That's it's fine. Donnie's direction. And I respect him as an artist. Hey, this this isn't what I wrote. Oh, come on. It's better that way. How is it better this way? It's more engaging. William Wallace is supposed to be having an epic battle with the British. Well, now he's having an epic battle with a dragon named Longshanks. What? The Nathic are late, but the Neotic are Respect is such a strong word. My name is Rebecca Stone. That's Stone, not Stone A. The accent was silent. Uh, I went to college for acting. Uh, after college, I decided to do my own one-woman show, which was- So is this like, Gen 2 nostalgia chick, or what, what do we- It's clear that Doug Walker has a type, let's just put it that way. It was of course, Hamlet. And I know what you're thinking. How can a woman play Hamlet? Well, I always thought that Hamlet seemed like a woman trapped inside of a man's body. So I decided to play his feminine side. You know that one scene where he's talking to the skull and he's like, Oh, poor dead jester. Yeah, proto Tamara, you're right. Yeah, I, I rewrote it a little bit. <laughs> Your bony lips I have kissed, I know not how oft. See? Him kissing a guy suddenly makes sense. It's a lot better than that weird jester boy thing that they were implying. I don't know, Shakespeare's a perv. Uh, I'm currently a security guard at a warehouse in the greater Chicago land area. I'm not allowed to say which one, but they have been extremely good to me. One of them said I was a stunod, which I assume is Italian for bright. We have a mutual agreement between us. We film here and they do- I'm not they... even trying not to laugh. Like, I get that they're trying to be funny and I see sometimes, I can't, I was about to be like, where's the joke? But like, the joke is there. I can see where the joke is. It's just not funny. Like, I don't know. I'm not trying not to laugh. I'm not over here like recording a PewDiePie video, you know, trying not to laugh number 69 or whatever. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm watching the video. If something's funny, I'd laugh at it. Nothing's been funny so far. I'm not even trying to be unfair to Doug Walker is what I'm saying. It's just that that unfunny. I don't know. Back there. They don't ask questions, and we don't ask questions. Where's the money, Paulie? Where's the money? I swear I don't know. I swear I don't know. Yes, say goodnight, Paulie. No. No. Gun funny. What do these people do again? Construction. Oh, okay. All right, so you're going to enter through this way. Right here. So, which of the Batman movies were you thinking about doing? Well, I don't like to think small. Big shock. So, I was thinking about doing the Christopher Nolan movies. Would they just dub over Malcolm there? Think small. Big shock. Big shock. <laughs> it's not even close to what his lip movements are doing. Are, they, is, are we doing anime rules here? Okay. So, I was thinking about doing the Christopher Nolan movies. Which one? All of them. Uh, how do you do all of the Christopher Nolan movies? Oh no, I see where he's going with this. Like the Adam West Batman movie, where all the villains come together and try to take him out. Exactly, except with more sharks. Wait, let me get this straight. Oh, you want no. me to write a script? They're really doing it. Combining all the Christopher Nolan movies into one story with all the characters and all of the plot twists? Exactly. We can put it all in one movie. Everyone's always like, oh, let's put them in one movie at a time. No, just shove them all together. It'll be great. But most people can't even follow one Christopher Nolan movie without- I just, I'm fascinated now watching this because it's like, this is legitimately like, this is him. This is him sitting there while they're trying to fucking make the, the, the crossover movies. And they're all just like, no, Doug, that's really stupid. That would be a terrible idea. Can we not do that? Okay, we're gonna, I guess we're doing that now. And then they made Suburban Nights. Like, holy shit. 
but using a flowchart. Don't you think that's going to be a little much? Well, yeah, that's the American way. Too much, too fast. I don't think that's the American way. Sure it is. Come on, ask Carl. He's as American as Uncle Sam. Aren't you, Carl? <laughs> yeah, sure. As American as foosball and double strudel. There you go, then. Okay, I didn't laugh, but that was, like, almost funny, I guess. Guten Tag, mein Name ist Karl Copenhagen. Ich bin ein Kameraman. Und das hier ist meine Kamera. Kami. Sag guten Tag, Kami. Guten Tag. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna be laughing at this guy. Sie ist mein Liebling. Yeah, Carl's a weird one. I think he's Cajun. Russian, maybe? He's German. Ethnic. He's always talking about before sie fell. Before sie fell. He's one of them, he's one of them urban types. Fell, I had quite destroyed history. Unfortunately, all of that has been classified. Therefore, I will have to black out certain questions mit mein Schwarzpen. Nein. Nein. I think he said he was in- Whose teeth are we talking about here? It's not my teeth, right? I don't think it's my teeth. Is it Doug's teeth? I don't think there's anything too bad about Doug's teeth. I'll take a closer no, look. German name. Nine, 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 nine. Oh, okay. I think he told me he was working for a lady named Stacy. Oh yeah, that is a little bit weird. He kind of looks like he has a face app smile in his mouth. I don't like Stats, that. You're yeah, right. They get their names. Huh. Fair. Look, there's only one more question left. How are you? None of your business. He seems to be really good friends with that other cameraman, Quinn. I think he's Irish. I'm pretty sure he's Cajun too. My assistant is Quinn. He did not work for the IRA, and he will not answer any of your questions. My name is Quinn, and I didn't work for the IRA, and I ain't gonna answer any questions you got for me. He is a good mercenary, is that fair? Can't they just try to start by making funny jokes and then like work their way up to doing impressions? I feel like that's a natural sort of like, that's a thing that's at the top of the skill tree. You gotta put a lot of points into that. They haven't done that yet. They're still little baby bitch lads at the Firelink Shrine. This isn't, this isn't good. This is not I mean, good. Man. I am Danny Dupre, the founder and director of Demo Reel. Uh, we don't make a whole lot of money on it. In fact, you could argue we're losing money, but you know, you make sacrifices for your art and that's what counts. Outside of this, I do not have a job, uh, which I know is hard to believe, so I rely on my wife's income, and I know- What happened to the whole- Why was he being, like, in our humbleness in the beginning? Because he kind of looks a little bit like he might be kind of going for an Amish thing or something, kind of vaguely, like, religious. But now there's just none of that. Was that just like a completely random throwaway joke? What the fuck was that? What you're thinking? Donnie, how is that fair to you? Well, it's not. I mean, you have no idea the stigma that's placed on stay-at-home husbands who make remakes of films with their best friends. Uh-oh, the, ca the say oops, the webcam went out. Uh, in, in, in other news, if you hear any kind of, like, bong noises, that's just a water bottle. That's just a weird water bottle. Don't worry about it. Cheap or uh, dodging responsibility, but I ask you this. What kind of guy wants to set... Oh my god, you're right. He is fucking dressed like, like, like Tom Preston or Andrew Dobson or whatever the fuck that guy's name is. Women's work liberation thingy years back not me i'm doing my wife a favor by allowing her to work by giving her another spot for a working woman to come in now that's a sacrifice so i'm simply allowing. boy this really is uh, one of many things that did not age well after all those allegations started happening working women the chance to be working women uh -huh. I'm part of the liberation. I'm there. Yeah, bro. It's like, wow. It's like women should be allowed to vote or whatever, dude. That's like so weird that they can't vote. That's like so cringe, bro. Like women should. Women are equal people. That, that's so dumb. Doing it for my sisters. And if you think that's dodging responsibility, well, you're more than welcome to set the women's liberation thingy back several years. So, you're supporting your wife's ability to support you? Oh, now see, you finally get it. Alright, so we're on board with the Nolan movies then. 
Uh, yeah, just one question. Can we go with the Harvey Dent from the first Burton Batman? You know, the one played by Billy D. Williams? I kind of feel like he got the shaft. You know, replacing a charismatic black man with that Texas tool from The Fugitive. Oh, I see. Seeing what would happen if you have Billy D. Williams play Two-Face. Exactly. Okay, alright, I like that. I like that a lot. It's like seeing Lando Calrissian play both the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Lando Calrissian did. Yeah, whatever. Just making the mayor of Cloud City. Okay, that was... Uh, I, that got like a snort out of me. That got the slightest bit of snorts. That's all, it was almost funny. There was almost something funny there. There was something kind of funny about the setup. Also, like, but uh, most of, mostly the joke was just completely bungled. Uh, uh, I kind of see what they were going for there. That's currently the highlight of the video, ladies and gentlemen, the Billy D. Williams joke. That's what it's like. Master Bruce, saying as how both your parents have been murdered, it is my job. Really? Alfred? Really? Okay. Serve you as your Why are there so many go god books on the wall? Guardian. But wait, isn't that a little confusing seeing as how you're also my butler? I don't much like your toe. Go to your room. Go to your room! Yes, Master Bruce. Woo! So, Alfred, after years and years of soul-searching, I finally decided the logical conclusion of what to do with my life. I'm gonna be a superhero. Okay. That's it? Okay? I didn't even have to convince you. I've lived off your fortune for years now. I've is, there like a, is there like a what-if story where Alfred becomes a superhero? Because that would be amazing. I want to watch that. Prostitutes of heaven. The way I say, if you wanted to go and shoot the Pope, I'd be behind you. You've never given up on me, have you? Never. I will never give up on you. And neither will my bravo of well-paid whores. We have much work to do, my horny old friend. This calls for a costume change. Like what? Something terrifying. <laughs> So this is pretty sad because we are now like officially into the main meat of this video, which is this parody of The Dark Knight Rises. When the video started and it wasn't this, I was upset because I was like, wait, this is what I clicked on the video for. Where is where's The Dark Knight Rises? And and the, now here we are. And uh, what's sad about it is it's not better. Uh, it's really not better. In fact, it's worse. I, th I would say this is getting like less funny bad and more just kind of boring and shite uh to be perfectly honest but i i think there's a pretty good dance number coming up or maybe that's a different video that might be part two all right alfred we'll, we'll watch the super villain shuffle if nothing else turn around now terrifying isn't it no it's mario why are Oh my god, it's movie bub! Why are you dressed like a Mario brother? Mario scares me. It's time the rest of the world shares my fear. Nobody's friggin' afraid of Mario! Why are you afraid of Mario? He's an Italian plumber who steps on turtles. That's rude. And then he kicks them out of their shell, takes their home, and bludges them to death with it? Man's a psychotic! I don't want that- This is like... <sighs> This is, like, not even as funny as, like, those old, Hey guys, Mario does drugs. You know when he takes the mushroom? That's like he's taking drugs, stupid. Wow. You never knew that before. Oh, you never knew that before, but he taking drugs, stupid. Wow. That's funny. This is just, like, this is, like, less funny than that, honestly. Person near my toilets? Go try another costume. Fine, fine. I'll find something else that scares me. Creature of the night. Waldo? You're afraid of Waldo? Nobody can find him. Even with his red and white striped shirt, he always appears to blend in. Go get another one! God. 
Again, I almost feel like this could be a funny joke. There's the there's the setup to a funny joke here. Batman is about to become Batman, and he's trying on some funny, stupid... This is like something you might see in the Lego Batman movie. Maybe they even had something like that. I don't know. But I can see how that could, could be a funny joke. But my god, just their delivery, their complete lack of comedic timing or tone, and, and the editing, and Doug Walker's fucking teeth. <laughs> Okay, it just who ruins was never it. Of Santa Claus? Next! Ooh, I'm a spooky witch! Next! I'm a banana. Next! I am Spider-Man. Tyke. Seriously? Yep. Does he wear red too? Yep. Oh my god. What are the odds of two guys representing a spider with the color red? I'll get another one. I mean, seriously. Red! Look out, I'm a housing market. Wait, wait. What are the Seriously? I'm a banana. Next! Was that an Onision reference? That was a pretty popular video at the time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Next! I am Spider Man. Tyke. Seriously? Yep. Does he wear red too? Yep. Oh my god. What are the odds of two guys representing a spider with the color red? I'll get another one. I mean, seriously. Red! Look out, I'm a housing market correction. My increased foreclosure rates among homeowners will lead to a crisis in subprime loans and collateralized debt obligations. You Again, you could do something funny with this. I could almost taste someone else making this joke funny. <laughs> But boy, is Doug Walker doing everything he can to ruin it. Go and come up with something right now, or I will stab you in the eye. <sighs> well, gee, the only thing left is bats. Bats. See? Now that's something scary. Oh, come on. They're like number 50 on my scary list. Just do it. <sighs> All right. If you think it's scary. Absolutely sure we don't want to go with the plumber. Right. I warned you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that one gave me a little bit of a smile. I wasn't expecting it with the music and everything. I did smile at that one. That is now the funniest joke in the video for me. I wasn't expecting it. You got me off guard with it. There you go. You gave right me, me you gave me right, one. Alright, I'll do that! Wasn't even a full laugh, it was just a smile, but you we're almost there. Maybe by the end of the video I might get a full ha. A full hee hee, or even a hoo hoo, if we're if we're lucky. It's hard playing multiple roles, especially when you're the only female here. Fortunately, my background has prepared me for this. After I did my one woman Hamlet, I wrote a one woman Titanic. It's very tricky to do a hot steamy love scene by yourself. Oh, Rose, you're the most beautiful seventeen year old going on thirty that I've ever seen. Oh, Jack, you're the most beautiful 23-year-old. Who the fuck are you? How did you get into this video? Someone call security. Going on 12 on all of steerage. Want to set sail for my pants? Oh, Jack. Oh, Rose. Oh, Jack. Rose. Jack. Rose! Oh, Jack! Oh, Rose! Oh, Jack! Oh, I can Rose. see your hunger. Oh, Jack! Oh, Jack! Rose! Oh, Jack! Oh, Jack! Oh, Rose! Jack! We had something going there with the Batman thing for a second, at least. It... Not... Not even because it was funny. There was, like, one thing that made me, like, smile a little bit. But we at least had some cohesion and forward momentum. And now we just have to watch the crazy chick from Shark Exorcist fucking... Like, like having a mantisy, a man mandate session with herself. I don't... What is this? Uh, has anyone seen my glove? Batman glove? Yeah, I, I, I got one. I don't have the other one, though. It, is it that just, on the couch? I, I don't have my glasses, and it's a black glove and the black couch, so that's kind of difficult. Is it, this it? Is this 
one your glove? I, it looks like yeah, yeah, because that looks exactly like the glove. That's the identical. Good, good job. Just good trying job. to help. It, just, wow. I don't even have glasses. I can see it's not the right glove. Okay. I, I do better if I have my thinking hat. Okay. So I had the glove. Okay. Screw the thinking hat. I forgot. I, I, I forgot that I forgot to turn that back on. Wait, no. I just remembered that I forgot to turn that back on. It's funny how that works. This is really bad. Batman can't only have one glove. Why? Because he's freaking Batman! Why would he go around with one glove? He's Batman. He's not Michael Jackson. Come on. Wait. Yeah. Um, so, uh... I guess that last thing was like an interstitial joke, and now we're kind of getting back to the Batman. What if they could identify his hand? They'd be like, hey, that hand looks very Bruce Wayne-ish. Is there any way we could write around the fact that Batman only has one glove? Where's one glove? Michael Jackson. Oh, they're really doing the Michael Jackson joke. Why? Why did I say it? Uh, why did I? Why did I say it? I didn't. That's true. Michael Jackson. Need to say it. I that could be a that. nice plot twist. And that, that's good because you have one black hand, one white hand, but the black hand is the gloved hand. Why am I so green? I have no idea. My entire room is red. I can't. Can't really tell you that, uh, but, you know. Now I'm extra blue. Now I... With enough white balance, I no longer exist, so I'm just gonna keep it this way. I have no idea where I'm going with this. This is the stupidest idea. You know what? We're just gonna call him One Glove Batman. That'll blue definitely stick. Yeah, that glove. Uh. Bearded One Glove Batman, a new enemy seems to have shown this evil face. Who is that? High pitch Commissioner Gordon. He's a bank robber dressed in all white makeup, simply- Hey, I gotta give, uh, Doug Walker one thing. He probably actually has a better Batman voice than Christian Bale, but that's not a- It's not really a high bar to, to, to jump there, so. He's known as the Joker. Thoughts? Yeah, I guess you're right. He is just some clown. Wow, we were wrong on that one. Yeah, note to self, clowns are evil. We must put our trust in Harvey Dent. He's a good politician with a strong personality. How do you know? I saw him threaten one of the Joker's mentally disabled henchmen with a gun and a coin. That sounds like a very mentally unstable person. Oh, he's fine. As long as you don't get anything in his face. Kind of sensitive about that. Hey, Rebecca. Um, We're still a little bit green, but now we got the orange and green contrast. I look like Aquaman. Very nice. I'm going to keep that. Can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Well, I, I don't know really how to ask this. Well, what is um, it? Well, um, as a white person, mm -hmm. uh, does this offend you? I mean, am I crossing any boundaries or anything? Because What do you mean? I just feel kind of weird dressing up in white face in front of uh, in front of a bunch of white people. It's... Look, if it makes you feel any better, we did just cast you as a cream of wheat making servant who always sides with his rich white master no matter how insane he is. You know what, you're right. You crackers had it coming. There you go. You see, I'm not a monster. Ra racial joke, I guess. Didn't make me laugh, but hey, again, at least I recognize that it's a joke, so there you go. That's better than some. I'm just ahead of the curve. These good people are only as good as the world wants them. That made chat laugh, apparently. Because when the chips are down, these civilized people will eat each other. Let's delve into this a little further by examining the works of Friedrich Nietzsche. Wait a minute, why am I chit-chatting with you? You kidnapped two people! Yeah, I was wondering that myself. Where are they? <laughs> you can take nothing away from me. Where are they? I also remember the scene from the movie where they did these things. That was a move. that was a scene in the movie. Those are some lines that they said in the movie. Yep. 
I remember it being acted and directed a lot better, though. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just my stupid gamer brain playing tricks on me. But, uh, yeah. Where are they? Hey, I'm making a coffee run. Do you guys want anything? No, I'm good. Two greens, two sugars. Where are they? <laughs> it, it's okay. I'll tell you where they are. You know, it makes sense that Onision, uh, the Onision joke was referenced earlier in the video because, like, this truly is what Onision still finds funny. I'm sure if we go and look at his channel now, he probably uploaded a fucking Joker sketch like a week ago. He's still doing this shit as far as recently as this year. Onision's in fact a lot worse than uh, Doug, because at least Doug is just unfunny. Onision's also incredibly scummy. So there's that. Both of them. Even though we've clearly established that there's no clocks in here, I'll rig it so that you can only reach one of them in time. Are you so sure only I'll reach one of them in time and not the cops? I saw you had a better GPS. It accounts for traffic and even updates the street names. So, which one are you going for? Rachel. Really? Who cares if the only hope for Gotham is about to be burned? I want Nookie! Yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess if we're on the subject, can we, like, briefly mention how a big part of that movie is, uh... Was it that movie, or was it the first one? Was it was it Batman Begins? There's a big part in one of those movies where Bruce Wayne is, like, acting kind of weird and incel-ish, and he's like, Well, okay, you gotta break up with your boyfriend now, because you said we could be together. Oh my gosh. You said we could be together. What are you doing? Break up with him, though. No. But, like, just do it, though, because, like, I love you and stuff, and it's all about me, Bruce Wayne, and there's a big, it's just a big part of the movie that's like that, and I don't know if that's any good. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like that part of the movie. Well, it looks like this is the end. I've really enjoyed our time together, Harvey, Billy, D. Williams, Dent. Don't worry, my dear. I'm a man of few words. But those words will count. So will our actions. When we kick down the doors and shed the light of the law on that nest of vipers. Is it wrong to say that even though we're about to die, your voice just made me orgasm right now? If it is, I don't want to be right. Uh, it's almost funny. This is almost funny because probably because Doug's not on the screen at any point. Uh, Billy Dee Williams does have a pretty nice voice. I can't deny that. Uh, also, the lady does kind of look like Maggie Gyllenhaal. So there you go. It's al almost good. I mean, somebody might have laughed. I didn't. Somebody Batman. What? Oh, for crying out loud! Really? You saved him instead of me? It's not what you think, honey. No, I got it. Clearly, he means more to you than me. No, no, I swear that's not it. Have, have you heard his voice, though? Come on. First, I understand. Hey, Harvey, you want to know who Batman truly is? You don't hear that. He's very rich, man. No, 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 no. He's probably the only man in Gotham who can afford to be Batman. No, 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 no. See, his name begins with a B. Oh, for God's sake, where are those cops? How come they never update the street names? Look at this, this used to be 88th and now it's the Reagan Parkway. Isn't there any other landmark that points us in the right direction? Oh, there it is! Once again, another perfect example. In fact, possibly the best example I can point to at the moment of... Good idea for a joke? Editing was almost there, you know, with the where are those cops and then you just cut to these guys arguing. I could see that being funny. It wasn't funny to me though because of the execution. There's a lot of that in this video. So that's the end of part one of the first uh, video on their channel. I don't think I'm going to watch the whole demo reel annoys Rob Paulson. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine you just were in the building and that was enough of an affront to him. Uh, we're probably not gonna watch the whole video here, the whole you know, second video, but we are gonna try to make it for the supervillain shuffle. Where is that? Where's where's the supervillain shuffle? Is that like not even in here? Oh, All right, well, well, fuck us it. Know which in that case, fuck it. Hang on. 
it anyway. I can spell. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Forget it. Forget it. It's not gonna happen. There's no way it can work. It's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. We're not doing the super villain shuffle! I am Ra's al Ghul, and I'm here to say no inflection in your voice is A-OK. -okay. No. With the leak of shadows, I'll make Gotham fall. I have several identities, all of them doll. I am Harvey Dent, and my face is dead. My evil motivation makes little sense. I was a nice guy, but now I'm deranged. Determining my future on the back of change. My attitude can turn on the flip of a dime. Boy, I tell you, this deal's getting worse all the time. I am Dr. Crane, totally insane, and I only have a few lines in the movie, so next. Now, this is a story all about how my frown got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, don't go too far. I'm gonna tell you a little story about how I got these scars. My daddy was a drinker. My you couldn't even really, you couldn't even have, you couldn't even have him do the voice himself. You had to, Doug really had to micromanage so far as to do the voice. Like, at this point, he's just a shucking and jive. <laughs> I, like she liked the game. I probably don't want to finish making that joke. It's fine. My dog's a plastic surgeon. Please stop me if I ramble. My plans are so detailed, it's like I see into the future. I'm a ball busting, bat bashing, gangster money moocher. Word. Word. I quit. Yeah, I feel you on that one, bro. So that's a bit of demo reel. I don't think we're going to watch any more of that because. We watched some of it, and that's clearly enough. But uh, we're going to do the pop quiz show now, which was called Pop Quiz Hot Shot. And uh, as you can see here, video I referenced a couple of times, Pop Quiz Hot Shot and To Boldly Flee by Ralph the Movie Maker. Very good video. I uh, watched it a couple months ago. Watched it again today. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I would suggest watching that. It's what gave me the idea because frankly it's easy to forget that they tried to do a fucking uh game show but uh if you if you remember essentially what happened is i think they had like a kickstarter or it might have been a gofundme or something but they had something like that uh where where they where they raised like nearly a hundred thousand dollars to make a game show and originally brad jones was the host the uh, as you can see yeah on your marks, get set, a go! Well, my job's done, I hit the on- Originally, Brad Jones was the host, but for whatever reason, probably because he didn't want to be there, uh, they wound up, like, not going with that. So instead, uh, they made, like, ten episodes or something where Doug Walker, uh, was the host. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna watch that right now. Uh, this is a mistake. Are you ready, Ryan? I mean, hey, look, at least the like to dislike ratio is slightly better on this one. They even got a couple thousand more views. This has got to be better than Demo Reel. Obviously. Are you ready, Tom? Go! Get the bat nipples off of Batman! Remember, just two at a time. They are very delicate nipples. Uh, George Clooney especially. Oh, he seems to like that. He has a nice little smile there. Uh, Val Kilmer. Uh, I can't tell his acting range is... Why is the game just... Why, why is the show just starting on this random, like, game? Kinda limited at, or just his lips are too big. I can't see any expression. Uh, oh, hey, look at that. He actually has a blue blood. I never knew that. We are actually gonna Imagine take those nipples and give them on, on TV. in his bed in the middle of the night. I don't have to be a nightmare or a dream come true for him. Now why does he have one on his shoulder? Why would Schumacher do that? You know, I don't want to know Imagine if they put this on next to fucking Jeopardy. Your grandma would fucking shit herself. What is this intro? This answer is that. I do not want to know the answer to that. Do we have a, we have a winner? We have Just a winner, chaos. Tom, everybody! Congratulations! Well done, well done. Bag em, bag em. That's right. That's the way we do things here at Pop Quiz Hot Shot. I'm the nostalgia critic, and ever since I was a child, I always... Oh yeah, I guess I should mention, this is after the point where he killed his character in To Boldly Flee, the final critic movie well it wasn't the final one the third critic movie uh where they killed the nostalgia critic off and uh and i guess he came back later and with him came this fucking kickstarter for this terrible terrible quiz thing 
And, uh, you know, here we are. I wanted to play games, quoting movies and TV with my friends. The only problem was, I had no friends. Well, now that I have power, I can take my friends by force. With the help of my new pal, General Anesthetic, I can kidnap all the friends I want and force them to answer questions in my Save by the Bell style set. There will be laughs, trivia, those disturbing cartoons that give you night terrors. But most of all, there will be fun. The laughter and joy will last however long I want. Heads up, America, for this is Pop Quiz Hot Shot. And I'm bag of- I feel like this is just such an incredibly egocentric, like, thing to make, and I feel like everybody involved probably knew that except for Doug, which is probably why Brad Jones didn't want to be involved, because he- Though he may be fa friends with Linkara and Doug Walker, and I may no longer want to watch his content, though it's actually pretty good content because of his friendship with those people, uh, I don't think he's quite as egotistical as Doug. The reason why I say it's such an ego project is because I feel like... Like, you make reviews on the internet, right? Nobody wants to see you do this. Nobody is looking for a stupid, weird, quirky game show. Nobody wants this. And the only one who wants this is Doug because he thinks people just love his Nostalgia Critic character just that much that they'll just eat up whatever he does. And yeah, it's just, it's amazing that nobody involved could have just told him, nobody wants you to make this. There's nobody who wants to see this. And you're the only one who thinks anybody cares. General anesthetic, there you go. <laughs> Welcome, my friends, to Pop Quiz Hot Shot. You are my friends, aren't you? Yes, sure. just nod or else I'll do something terrible to you. There you go, there you go, yes, you know. Why did I add Mini Lad in the thing about the Minecraft predators? Have you not heard about Mini Lad? Go watch some Diesel Patches videos about them. I know that uh, YouTube's been trying to remove them for terrorism because they're protecting Mini Lad. I mean, because harassment, I guess. I don't know. It's so crazy, but uh, yeah, no, Mini Lad's uh, not a not a great not a great person, uh, allegedly. I, I gotta say, I don't usually do this. I don't usually kidnap people and hold them against their will. But, you know, I just gotta say, ever since I was a child, well, I think nostalgia, I think happy thoughts, but when I think of childhood, this little nerve goes off because I didn't have that many friends. But you're my friends now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, you are. And that just makes me so happy because this is what friends do. Please, please stand up. You have a gun pointing at you. Yes, not very wise. But this is what friends do. They get together and they play games and they talk and they punish one another if they don't do what the important one is saying. So I just want to say thank you so very much, and we're just going to have so much fun, right? Help! I'll take that as a yes. Ryan! That was even worse than Doug. Yeah, watching Doug right now is kind of like watching Ellen. I'm really getting the vibe of Ellen. Like, I don't know how many of you were here for when we watched Ellen's content. She, 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 she did an, an apology for being a horrible, horrible scumbag to everybody she's ever worked with. Uh, you know, a quick five minute apology. You know how that works. Um, uh, totally absolved of all her sins. Uh, yeah. And she has the same energy as Doug, the same kind of like fast talking quirky energy. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. As a fan of Seinfeld, please stop. Upon interrogation, I mean, our little chat, you said that you do a very good Popeye impression. Well, I am what I am, huh, and that's all that I am. And it also says that you want to go into radio broadcasting. Do you want to go into it as Popeye? Well, we, I do work as an engineer for our Popeye radio broadcast we do for the Popeye fan club. And uh, every year on the weekend after Labor Day, there's a three-day Popeye festival in Chester, Illinois, the creator's hometown. And we have a live radio broadcast in character voice, and I am... Oh yeah, that's right. Apparently Cryotic is also a crazy fucking weird creeper, so there you go. Uh, I forget who... Where did, where did I... Because I never watched Cryotic, but I certainly heard people talking about him a lot before the things started happening. That's interesting. Yeah, he's just fucking disappeared now for 
obvious reasons. The broadcast engineer for that. Somewhere this got switched around, because you should clearly be kidnapping me. I've never heard a Popeye fan more dedicated. Okay, that's the first time of many that he's going to make the you should be kidnapping me joke. There's a lot of jokes that he leans on uh, in these shows. We're probably not going to see him repeat a lot of them. But uh, Ralph goes into it. He he repeats a lot of his own jokes. It's not good. And scary, but good for you, man. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. No problem. Tom, it says here that uh, when you were born, your doctor was Dr. Pepper. Yes, and uh, my last name is Beverage. And no one ever, it's spelled differently. But no one ever believes that. How do you spell... Don Beveridge, here to here to teach you the fucking lessons in customization. Beveridge differently. <laughs> Silent Q. <laughs> R.I. Tell the damn crew to push the whopper button. D.G.E. You know, I'm glad I kidnapped you two because clearly you would be kidnapping other people with stories like this. But nevertheless, that really is the same joke that he just... Come up with more jokes than that. Come on. You are literally making that. Oh, yeah, your name is Beverage. You're going to be kidnapping people. Definitely. Haha. -ha. Why? That's not funny. There's nothing funny about that. Why would you? Why? You are <laughs> my friends and I'm that? happy to have you. I hope one of you gets out of here alive, at least one. But you're not going to figure out how to do any of that unless we go over the rules. General Aesthetic, what are the rules? Each contestant is asked a series of questions involving nostalgia quotes. If the contestant does not know the answer, but can make the nostalgia critic laugh, 10 points are still given. But look out for the spazzies. The first one to hit their buzzer when they appear ends the round, while the other has to pay the penalty through round two, where the quotes get even harder. The winner with the most points fakes off against the nostalgia critic in a one-on-one -on -one match. If the contestant wins, they walk out with a cash prize, and also their lives. If they lose, the cash prize will be added to the next contestant's winnings. So, uh, yeah, answer the questions, and, uh, something to do with spazzies. I really don't know how that works in the context of playing the game. I know that on the videos, they just, like, flash across the, sc the screen or whatever. I don't know if maybe they have a guy with a laser pointer to indicate that or something, but, uh, yeah, answer the questions, or, uh, make Doug laugh, which is... A disproportionate... There's a part in one of the episodes where he's like, Wow, none of you have got a question right, but somehow you've each got like 50 points or something. And it's like, yeah, because you keep giving away fucking... Uh, I don't know. Uh, weird rules. Let's get into it. All right. Are you ready? I don't care. Here we go. Tom, which Tim Burton film featured the lyric, Just because I cannot see it doesn't mean I can't believe it. Nightmare Before Christmas? Yes! Ryan, in Fight Club, what are the first two rules of Fight Club? You don't talk about Fight Club, and I don't know the second one. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> you don't talk about Fight you, Club? You are gonna punch yourself in the face when you hear that. The second rule is, you don't talk about Fight Club. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. If I could deduct <laughs> points from you, actually I can. Can we do a next? Who the fuck ha- no, we, that's too expensive. Okay, nevertheless, we will still keep going forward. <laughs> Tom, finish this Wonder Years theme lyric. What would you do if I sang? Out of tune? Yes. Would you stand up and walk out of Okay, the... okay, okay. Don't need your life story. It's on my iPod. Good for you. You want a cookie? <laughs> I do. Ryan, in the Avengers, what character said we have a hole? Why is he, like, so weirdly hostile? I mean, I get that that's supposed to be the joke, I, I guess, but... There's parts in this where it starts to become very unclear how much of it exactly is the joke because he starts to get like weirdly upset that the audience is laughing at the fucking contestants instead of him. So, uh, you know, part of it is funny, but part of it is also, is he really getting upset here that the guy, that the, the pro is speaking out of two, uh, out of, out of, uh, out of turn in front of him. I don't know. Iron Man. Yes. Tom, in which Monty Python film did John Cleese shout, I say you're the Messiah, Lord, and I should know I follow a few? Life of Brian. Yes. That was a tough one. <laughs> Ryan, finish this. <laughs> Let's jump ahead a little bit. Let's do fucking episode 
Seven, sure. Here's Brad Jones again. I'm sure he wants to be here. Are you ready, Uncle Yo? You're not still angry about the way we represented you in that Garfield review, are you? Well, I'm sure our other contestant will be happy. Go find out what was wrong with the Super Mario Brothers movie. That's right, you gotta punch those boxes. Just punch them open, just, you know, yeah. Go in there and find out the comedic antics that await. That's right, Len Kabazinski. We made a new torture machine called the Choose and Lose. You just have to choose between world's greatest uh, monsters and the Channel Awesome staff. Punch through a picture and you see what prize you get. You. I'll hold him down. You want to knee him into the junk? Yeah, fuck you guys. Bag him. This is Pop Quiz Hot Shot. It too, General. I'm the nostalgia critic, and ever oh, since I was we a get child, this intro I always again. wanted to play games, quoting movies and TV with my friends. The only problem was, I had no friends. Well, now that I have power... The only problem was, I had no friends, and so now, uh... Don't have any friends at Channel Awesome anymore, because they've all started to hate me for how much of a prick I am. So, uh, it's time to... Make, I don't know, make a fake game show, I guess? I don't know. Ugh. I can take my friends by force. With the help of my new pal, General Anesthetic, I can kidnap all the friends I want and force them to answer questions in my Save by the Bell style set. There will be laughs, trivia, those disturbing cartoons that give you- I never really noticed, because like if you go back a little bit here, what, what he says here is like, I had no friends. Well, now that I have power, I can take my friends by force. Now that I have power, I really never noticed how much of his comedy really is based around like being a horrible prick to the people around him and like a dictator and a power tripping asshole. It's, it's funny how life imitates art in a way. With the help of my new the laughter and joy is pop quiz hot shot. Right. Welcome back to Pop Quiz Hot Shot, or as I like to call it, General Aesthetics Last Show. What the hell, man? You couldn't have kidnapped two more inappropriate people to bring on this show? How'd you even find these two together? Were you dating? Were you dating? I mean, yes, art does imitate life, but there's a chance that it could be a chicken and egg situation. I don't know. Fuck you. I'm drunk. And you're a furry. Whatever. Oh, okay. so, anti-Christian mingle long enough, you're bound to run into someone who just happens to have the same enemies that who you Who even do. is you're not this funny and nobody loves you. Person. Let's do this. We get to talk about you guys as if everybody doesn't know who you are right now. Brad, it says here, you used to be the host of a game show. I did. Yeah. Welcome to purgatory, asshole. How? <laughs> you can see it in this motherfucker's eyes. How much he doesn't want to be there. How much he's like, yeah, and you're the one who's doing it now, fucker. I told you it was a bad idea. You having fun, asshole? You having fun? Did you think this was going to go well? Oh, how are those views going on YouTube? Not really very good, are they? What was that? Surprisingly, uh, just read the comments. Carl, or Uncle Yo, if that is your fake name. Yeah, 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 Yo, okay. It was too hard to add any more layers to your name, I'm sure. It says here that you're apparently a comedian. Tell me about that, make me laugh, asshole. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you don't need to do that. I I'm just... doing my best. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you see, I asked you a question, so we haven't even started yet. This is just where we get to know what pain in the ass you are, which you're demonstrating very well right now, by the way. Does the noise upset you? A touch, a little bit. Yeah, a touch, okay, fuck we you, fuck you both. No, 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 fuck you both. That guy's got a gun, he will shoot you, he has done it in the past, he knows. So, we're just, okay, goddammit, just show how the rules work. Each contestant. So this is Gun is Funny, the game show. Is that what I'm taking to believe here? This is the game show. The, the conceit of the game show is that it's funny because gun. Because the man has gun. And he'll shoot you with his real gun that he has. He'll shoot you. He will. He'll do it. That's like 
the worst joke of every skit that that's in. Every time Doug Walker does the thing, and I've said it before, and other YouTubers still do this to this day, and I don't, I can't believe it. But every time someone does the thing where it's like, ha ha, the joke is I have a gun now, ha ha ha, ha 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 ha, and he starts pointing the gun at people. No, it's not funny. Don't do that. And that seems like the whole point of the show is, ha ha, man with gun, point gun. Ha ha, ha I'll kill you if you're bad. Ha ha ha. It's funny because you're in captivity. Ha ha. And it's not that funny. Just ask a series of questions. So we know, Round, we know the rules. Whatever the fuck Doug wants, that's the rules. Well, I guess it's kind of pointless to give you any money because... You know, this whole fucking like show, too. It's like if you haven't noticed in the first episode, you might have seen a bit of it before my fucking computer exploded. But you'll see it now, too, where the answers or the, the questions that he's giving out for this game show are legit. They're not like things that most people would get. They're all just like things that he knows, things that he's a fan of that it's like, yeah. I'm it's it's like the it's like the fucking plot of Ready Player One, except he's the asshole instead of the one in the movie. Either of you. So why don't we play for charity? We uh, gotta we gotta fucking learn about everything that nostalgia critic is nostalgic for, and 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 that's what's important. Pick one, Brad. What's your charity? I am playing for SiamesRescue.org and Flashing Lights. Very nice. I, I don't think you need much money. They seem to be working fine on their own. Uh, yo, what is your charity? Will you goddamn stop it? <laughs> you know, okay. annoying you is a uh, child's play at this point, so I think I will follow in the footsteps of some of my favorite other internet personalities of the abridging community. Why don't I play for child's play as well? It's a charity that tries to bring in uh, relief to children in hospitals by- Is this like someone? Is this guy someone? Should I know who this person is? The- the, the abridged community? Is this someone? Who the fuck is this guy? Is he like from something? Giving them uh, used and new video games. Very good. And I am going to do uh, donorschoose.org. Uh, that is a site that gives money to classrooms and schools that is looking uh, to get just stuff that every school should have. New computers, updated books, uh, all sorts of great stuff. So uh, wonderful charities, we're just gonna go right into it. <sighs> Brad, what actor is saying I'm- Man, running a charity must be wild. Every fucking day you get new people donating who are like, okay, well, thank you for the donation, I guess, but also, like, Really, you're 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 making an internet game show, are you? And you're it's just I, there's just so many colorful people that donate to a charity. That's got to be fun. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I, hey, I guess if the proceeds are going to charity, that's one thing. But also, they spent ninety thousand dollars or something on this fucking set and all of the production for this terrible game show. So I don't know. I hope a lot of money, I hope those those sick kids in Africa are getting a lot of money or something. Singing in the rain in a clockwork orange. Malcolm McDowell. Yes, yo, in The Great Muppet Caper, whenever the characters say they're going to catch the villains red-handed, what is the reply? What color are my hands now? Their hands now, sorry, doesn't count. Ooh, <laughs> someone doesn't know they're Muppets. Does it hurt, does it sting, I hope it does. Brad, finish this quote from Love Story. A film I'm sure you love as well. <laughs> love means never having to say... You're sorry? No, I'm not, but I'll give you the points anyway. Wow, I knew a love story question. <laughs> Yo, what classic comedy had this line? And by the way, you know, when you're... Is that really... Is that really a line from that movie? That's a really stupid line, if that's real. Wow. Love means never having to say you're sorry. Oh, yeah. People who love people never make mistakes ever. They're always perfect 100% of the time. What a terrible, what a terrible For quote. For telling these little stories, here's a good idea. <laughs> Have a point. Big fish. <laughs> no! <laughs> I, t big fish? Is that even really a comedy? Enough whiskey turns any Tim Burton movie into a comedy. You've clearly already stolen his kitchen tiles, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You know, this guy is a lot funnier than Doug. I gotta be real. He's not really making me laugh either. Probably because Doug's there busy making like, you know, little chimp noises. <laughs> little whiny noises in the background and mugging at the camera and whatnot. But he is he is certainly funnier than Doug. There's that much to be said. <laughs> You know, I'm enjoying- really? That got an ooh? You're giving him an ooh. You, 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 you only get one ooh in the I've watched way more show. Adventure Time than you. He is really like, <laughs> that's uncomfortable, man. That's like me when I get mad at Among Us and I take it personally. That's great. <laughs> that's, that was just uncomfortable. He's like, the audience is like uh, ooing at a joke that the uh, contestant made. And he's like... <laughs> You know, I'm really? That got an ooh? And at first, it kind of sounds like a joke. You're giving him an ooh. You're giving him an ooh? I don't get an ooh, and you're giving him an ooh? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what's happening? I don't get an ooh. He gets it. Come on. And you can see, too, what's great is yo here, his face. You can see him kind of realize that this is a bit of an uncomfortable situation. You're giving him an ooh. His eye is kind of like, mm, <laughs> I don't know what this is you, all you, about. You only get one ooh I've watched in the way game more show. Adventure Time than you have. I get the ooh. You get the ooh. Give him the point. I'm no, enjoying being ew, a contestant much better. <laughs> you won't. Brad, what actors... God, that's, that is really uncomfortable, man. <laughs> How does it feel to be emasculated as the host of your own game show? Said, Miss, really? What actor said, Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Dustin Hoffman. Yes. I know my Ishtar. Yo, finish this Robert De Niro line. I have nipples, Greg. So do you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Spoonie Linkara fanfics, huh? Not tonight, but maybe sometime. Really? You you don't? I mean, really, Fokker? It's cooked. that's motherfucker to you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you milk me? No. Okay. I'll do God it. Sakes, no. I, I it's just for wanted charity. to see if you I'll actually answer it that way. Okay, Brett. In what movie did Christoph Waltz say, "I got a bingo"? In Glorious Bastards. Yes. Would have been great if he actually said in bingo as well. Would have been great if he was in that movie. Dog would have been dead very fast. Yo, what Disney actor famously shouted? You're really gonna have trouble with this one. What Disney actor famously shouted, you are a toy? Yeah, yeah, smile, smile. What, you're gonna say Bugs Life or something like that. God damn it, you don't need to hit that. Clearly it's Woody Allen, everybody knows that. It's Woody Allen from Bugs Life, everybody knows that. Oh, Woody the Cowboy. No, 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 it's what actor said it. And as we both know, Tom Hanks, my friend, Tom Hanks. Wow, look at that, 10 to 40. You're not doing so well, yo. You ain't doing so well. Those conjoined cast are gonna be really excited. <sighs> See at the Dragon Board reunion. Brad, which Pirates of the Caribbean movie has the line, you best start- I really feel like that yo guy is not I feel like he's here just to have some fun and do like a game show thing or whatever, but but Doug is really taking this too seriously, man. I guess that's kind of the, supposed to be the joke. That's supposed to be the joke, but it's just not... It really doesn't feel much like a joke. It kind of feels like he's just being like out, upstaged on his own on his own production. I'm believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. And he's You're really mad about it. The first one. I need a title. Uh, the Curse of the Black Pearl? Close. It's Curse of the Black Pearl, not, uh, Curse <laughs> of the Black Pearl. No, it counts. Give him the point. That's give a fan edit. Yo, in There Will Be Blood. Well, I mean, you did give no points to the guy before for, like, mistaking one word or something from the quote. So, for all we know, that wouldn't give him, I guess he's trying to make Brad win or something. I guess that's the joke. Uh, Daniel Plainview said, I drink your root beer. True or false? God damn it, really? <laughs> Stop! Stop! I've got friends in low places like. So I drink your milkshake! Yes, yes. But you didn't answer true or false, so I'm not gonna accept. Yeah, give him the points, give him the points. 
Pirates? Take that question to him. Brad, which actor is said... That was pretty cringe, bro. Not gonna lie. Said, only a Sith thinks in absolutes in Star Wars Episode 3. Um... Hayden Christensen. No, it was Ewan McGregor, though I will have given you points if you pointed out that's a fucking absolute that he just said. <laughs> Yo, what Schwarzenegger movie had the line, a man <laughs> is... <laughs> so he keeps going on about, like, quotes. They're not... It's such bad questions. There's not categories. It's not... There's no music or gaming or anything that Doug doesn't immediately know the answer to. These are all just like stupid trivia questions that he came up with about movies that he knows and nothing but movies. This is ostensibly supposed to be nostalgia, right? He is the nostalgia critic, right? So why doesn't he give a shit at all about like gaming or fucking pet rocks or I don't know what the fuck was popular when he was a kid. Probably not Bionicles, but he could talk about those too. That would be pretty cool too. But he doesn't talk about any of that shit. The only thing he's nostalgic for, and the pretense of the nostalgia critic, is fucking random quotes from movies. These aren't even, like, trivia about movies. It's not even like, oh, what was the most, you know, what was the most expensive movie to make in 1990 or something stupid? Like, it's like, all of them are fucking quotes. Why is this show not called, like, quiz quote or something like that if the whole premise of the show is gonna be quotes why not just make the whole premise of the show quotes this is so pointless this is so stupid let's move on from this one let's watch a little bit from another episode let's watch a little bit from the final episode and then we're gonna fucking move on let's check out the final episode of this ill fucking con ill conceived godforsaken quiz show. Are you ready, Matt? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Are you ready, Ryan? Go! Throw the garbage pail DVDs into the garbage pail. No, you missed it. Oh, that's your life. It's probably gonna cost you. Oh no, no, go pick them up, pick them up. Oh my God, did you get off? A no, no, go pick them up. You bunch of garbage yourself. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Nobody should survive this movie. Wow, man, you are really, really bad. Minority. No, no, go pick. Up, I was trying to pause because this guy here who looks like a flailing Melvin nerd, actually, I was going to make the joke that he's Blue Stacks from AGDQ, but that's a joke from like nearly 10 years ago at this point because Blue Stacks hasn't been relevant in a long time. Wait, Blue Stacks is the fucking... That's the fuck. Wait, hang on. That's the fucking Android emulator. Blue Glass! That's the guy I'm thinking of. The one who used to sit in the background and laugh really obnoxiously <laughs> in every fucking run. I remember that guy. That was from like AGDQ 2013 or whatever. This guy looks a little bit like him. Bad joke. Moving on. Moving pick him on. up. Oh my God. Did you get off? A no, no. Go pick him up. You bunch of I garbage yourself. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Nobody should survive this movie. Wow, man, you are really, really bad at this. It's almost like your life's on the line or something. That's cheating. That's cheating. It doesn't matter because Ryan won anyway. I'm the Nostalgia Critic and this is Pop Quiz. Hot shot. I'm the Nostalgia Critic and ever since the We're not watching Melton the intro again. Not watching Welcome to- So what the fuck is the point of the intro game segment? Because like, when we start the game- Oh, okay. He he starts with twenty points. Okay, I guess that's I guess that's the point. All right. Hot shot. Welcome to Pop Quiz Hot Shot, where the contestants are kidnapped. The winner gets money, but the loser dies. If you think that's way too dark or intense. You're gonna love the rest of the internet. We have here Ryan. Now, Ryan, it says here that you do a bunch of various voices. Like I totally can, man. It's really quite easy. What, was that Shaggy or was your voice really breaking there? That was Shaggy. Oh, there's your voice, okay. It also says you do a very good Chewbacca. <laughs> was that a mating call? Maybe. Very frightening, well done. And uh, Matt. Oh, Matt, you, you, you have the proper reaction you're supposed to have yeah. on this.
Why, 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 why impressions? Why do we think impressions are funny? Why does he keep getting people to do impressions? Why does he keep doing impressions? They're not funny. They've never been funny. Doing impressions of 98% of all people now is racist anyway. Why are we doing impressions? No, because most people are like, thing. yeah, they're like, oh, let's have fun, that's fun. But you have this, the center of fear, yeah. which I respect. I'll just, mm. Yes, I like that. Mm -hmm. And it also says here that you cross-dress because you had a crush on somebody. Y yes. Well, I I'm going to need you to go into more information this, about th that. This was a preschool, and I had a crush on a girl there, and uh, everyone had to pick a role. Can we just, like... Okay, I don't mean to, like, harass or bully people here. And as always, this is not a bully stream, but... Like, look at this little man. Look at this shrimpy little man. He cross-dressed to be... Okay, hang on. Let me turn... I, do, I turned the sound off intentionally, because I just wanted to, like take in his mannerisms without hearing him, but let, let's, let, Buddy. let's listen. Yes. Well, I, I'm going to need you to go into more information this, about th that. This was a preschool, and I had a crush on a girl there, and uh, everyone had to pick a role in uh, little uh, the Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and uh, so I wanted to be Goldilocks because she was Goldilocks, and they had us read our lines in unison, and it was very creepy. They're infested with cooties at that age. Yes, I mean, they I know. all got them. I know. Every boy knew this. Yes. But, but you didn't care. It was true love. It didn't matter at all. I loved my wig. And we're going to find out even more about you, unfortunately, yes. once General Anesthetic goes over the rules. Each contestant is asked a series of questions. Okay, thank you, General Anesthetic. Very cool. All right. Need your wig? Okay. Ryan, finish the line from The Princess Bride. Never go in against a Sicilian when... Death is on the line! <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Shut you the fuck up, You need to the right up, direction. Well done. Matt, you're you know, getting a hard time topic. You no, know, of course. D of course Doug likes this guy. Of course, the last one where the guy was actually kind of vaguely a little bit funny almost sometimes. Doug was like... Horribly, horribly fucking like, like emasculated and afraid and, 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 and you know, what, like, but this guy, he finds funny. Holy shit. <laughs> Which animated movie had the Holy line, shit. teenagers, they think they know everything. You give them an inch, they swim all over you. Yes, Beauty and the Beast. Little Mermaid, oh, actually. Yes. Swim Where was their swimming in Beauty and the know. Beast? They just have punk teens and all. <sighs> Belle's a punk teen. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she should. She should just stay there and marry her man. You know. I'm just kidding. Ryan, hopefully a slightly less sexist answer out of you. <laughs> just like. I, I'm excited to hear more from Matt over here. He seems like a really nice person. Let's uh, hear more from him. Slightly though, slightly. Which live action villain, originally animated on TV, said the line, I am more than a man, more than life, I am a god. I'm Batman? Yeah, that's the name of the character, I'm Batman. They, they actually said, who are you? I'm, I'm Batman. That's what he always said. Yes, no. It was actually Skeletor in Masters of the Universe, the movie that would- Hang on, hang on. I'm a god. I'm Batman. Okay. I thought he might have said, like, who are you? And then he answered, and then he got, like, but no, okay. All, all right. He said, who are you? I'm, I'm Batman. That's what he always said. Yes, no. It was I thought that it was, like, unfunny and, and also uh, stupid, but it's just unfunny. Okay. Actually, Skeletor in Masters of the Universe, the movie, that wouldn't it be incredible still, if he said that on the show? These are still all just fucking quotes. Like, nothing but quotes. Not a single one of these is like, oh, what year did Masters of the Universe, the movie, come out? It's like all quotes. If you're just going to do quotes for your quiz show, why not make that the conceit of the show? Make it a show about quotes. 
But if you don't do that, it just seems weird that all of your questions are one thing. I can't get over that. I am a god! Matt, finish this line from Greece. This car is automatic. It's systematic. It's hydromatic. Why, it's... It's prophylactic. <laughs> Come on! It's gotta be! <laughs> I'll it's give you that because be. that would have been a much better lyric. Oh, yeah, it was actually greased movie. lightning. Okay. Ryan, when Jack Dawson screamed, I'm the king of the world on Titanic, where was he standing on the doomed ship? The port, the bow, or starboard? Uh, the bow? Yes! Matt, finish the line from The Dark Knight. It's simple. We... Flip a truck on LaSalle Street. <laughs> Clearly a Chicagoan, but no. <laughs> yeah, no. It's We Kill the Batman. <laughs> All right. Which Dark Knight Rises clearly did. Yes. Ryan, in The Usual Suspect, which character said- See, the problem with awarding points to people for incorrect answers that make you laugh or whatever is that you lead to joke asshole contestants like this shifty fucking sangy looking ass motherfucker over here who like just coasts through the whole thing on like stupid answers and might win because Doug's sense of humor fucking sucks. But like, yeah, that's why you don't do that because it just turns into a bunch of assholes competing for the asshole prize. <laughs> clearly a Chicagoan, but no, <laughs> yeah, no. it's we kill the Batman, <laughs> right. which Dark Knight Rises clearly did. Yes. Ryan, in The Usual Suspect, which character said, I believe in God, and the only thing that scares me is Kaiser Sose? Crap. <laughs> Oh, 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 is that the mic? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, he ruined his impression, guys. He had such a cool impression and joke for us there, guys. I'm really upset that I missed it, frankly. It's a good thing they're fixing it for him here. Well, no wonder Donatello's kicking it off. Sure, it's really <laughs> well, there we go. Whatever you were trying to do, let's try it again. Someone not played by Kevin Spacey. Th that's amazing. It actually was Kevin Spacey. If you just said the exact opposite of what you said, you would have gotten it right. It was Verbal Kent, played by... This is like something that Chibi Necodemics would watch. Uh, Kevin Spacey. Very good! Matt, in the Addams Family, which character asked if Girl Scout cookies are made from real Girl Scouts? Pugsley. No, it was up on Wednesday Adams. Oh, I thought Pugsley said. No, that was Wednesday. Oh, Any sure. funny line from the kids is always That's summary. right. That's right. <laughs> Poor Pugsley. He got like, they gave him zero lines <laughs> in the it's, next film. That, that was painful. Ryan, who was the actor in Casper who said the line, who are you going to call? Someone else. Oh, it's uh, Bill Pullman. No, Dan Aykroyd. Oh. Actually playing a right. Ghostbuster. That was like... Still a quote question, but it was a slightly differently phrased quote question. It's really bizarre. Like, has there been a single question so far? Have I missed one? Has there been a single question so far that has not been a quote? I think they've all been quotes, and it's just so weird. Like, again, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it, but, like, I feel like if your whole game show is just quotes like make that in like a part of the show there's nothing in the name of the show that says that it's about quotes why is it all quotes i don't know why i i'm i'm harping on this point so much but i just find it amazing how like none of these like it would be one thing if they were all quotes and it was called something to do with quotes like quiz quote show or whatever the fuck if that was the conceit of the show i could understand why they're all like that but the fact that they're all quotes and that's not even the point of the show it's like did they just not even think at all about any other questions how did they how did nothing other than quotes come to them it's frankly astounding. I don't know. Yeah, I, I just, right. You know what, but it's okay because I really like how well you did that Captain Moriarty <laughs> <Yes>. voice. <laughs>
That, that was creepily great accurate. Voice. Great voice. Matt, yes. which movie had the line, there's more to life than a little money, you know? Don't you know that? Oh, Fargo, one of the best movies ever made. Yes, That's yes right. it is. Oh, oh I want to give you double points for yeah, that, yeah, but good. I'm not going to. Oh, that's fine. Ryan. Who was the actress that said, you're light, Quote. I'm not going to pay for those in Spider-Man 2? Emily Deschanel, Chris and Dunst, or Rosemary oh, Harris? Oh, guys, this, this time it's a quote-based multiple-choice actor question. So it's slightly different. How did they only do quotes? I can't get away, like... You would think at some point in the pro production of this show, they would have thought of one question that was like a release date or a trivia thing or what actor played whatever, but they're all quotes. <laughs> I can't get over this. Rosemary Harris? No, it's actually this Emily Deschanel. I didn't even know she was in that movie or who she is. <laughs> Matt, in Fight Club, what is the sick rule of Fight Club? One fight at a time, no shirts, no shoes, or only two guys to a fight? Only two guys to a fight. No, it's actually no shirts. Uh, who the fuck knows the sixth rule to fight club? What are these questions? Okay, to be fair though, that one wasn't a quote. We found one that wasn't a quote. We finally found one. Well, ki it's kind of a quote, technically. Technically, it's a quote because it's... It's a it's quoting a rule that was spoken by a character in the movie, but I'm going to allow it as technically not a quote kind of, I guess, if I want to be generous, I guess. So we'll give him one. It's no shoes. Oh, we all know about the second rule, and yet we talked yes. about it anyway. <laughs> I think it's just Ryan, which Nicolas Cage film has the screamed line, killing me won't bring back your goddamn honey? Yeah, there was the other You are Fight missing Club a one. classic if you don't know this one. Uh, Raising Arizona. No. Oh, 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 that's painful. You are missing one of the greatest Nicolas Cage performances, film, oh, everything please. ever. Please. Wicker Man, my oh. friend. Wicker Man. You, you got some we'll never serious watching the same to do. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll reenact that torture a little yes. later. Yeah. Matt. In Big Trouble in Little China, which character said, I'm a reasonable guy, but I've just experienced some very unreasonable things? Oh, Han Solo, of course. I'm sorry. I, I've not seen Big Trouble in Little China. You right. have not seen I'm gonna, Big I'm Trouble. Gonna go hide. I'm going to go hide here. I'm gonna... Could there not have been... I love how Doug... Go hide. Big Trouble I'm in Little China. Get up here! Oh, oh, uh, you've not seen this movie that I saw? How dare you not see Thing? What's that thing you saw? I didn't see that. It doesn't count. It's bad. How dare you? This whole fucking thing is so incredibly self-indulgent for Doug. It really is just answer questions about things Doug likes. Haha. <laughs> It's like if I made a fucking game show that's all Arion trivia and, oh, who sang this line on the fucking Into the Electric Castle? Like, nobody knows this shit, genius. This isn't what a game show oh, is. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're right. Everybody does know Jack Burton. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God. When will I ever get rid of those things? Okay. That was, of course, the spazzy attack. And it looks like, Matt, you have avoided it, which means, Ryan, sadly, you must pay the penalty. It is a penalty of my choosing. And since you are so good at voices, I want you to do a very amusing one. I want you to do Bane. So we will get you in that outfit. Until then, Matt, you get to watch the spazzy cartoon. You know, maybe I am watching. Oh, good. We get a cartoon. Not only do we get a really cool impression by the guy in the turtle's shirt, but we also get a fun cartoon. Too many films. In fact, maybe I'm watching them so much that they're actually coming to life around me. It's funny because gun, everybody, because it wasn't expecting gun. There was a kid, there was a guy, and then there was a guy with a gun, and you weren't expecting the guy with the gun to shoot the guy because that's so wacky and crazy, guys. You weren't expecting it. You really weren't expecting it, and it's really crazy, and it's so wild. It's really funny. Laugh. <coughs> Yeah! <clears throat>
Oh yes, you know that taste you have with the hat vomiting there and stuff. <laughs> yes, that's the reaction that I have every day watching those because I do watch. <laughs> See, I, 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 I did. I, I am laughing now because now chat's freaking out. <laughs> Watch them every day because I like that taste. I'm very sick. And Ryan, you merely adopted the nostalgia. I was born in it, molded by it. I think you're ready for it. Let's move on to round two. Yeah, we let's not do that. Let's not do that. That's fine. That's fine. So, um, you know, someone in chat was right. I did just kind of do a loud equals funny. So, speaking of loud equals funny. Uh, it's time to move on to Fred, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed the worst of Doug Walker. It's about to get a lot worse. <laughs> 